Hello and welcome to another Prophecy Files briefing. I'm excited to bring this message to you because it is so relevant for the times we're living in. In recent days, we've seen shootings that have been taking place around our country, lawlessness that has been abounding, and that's exactly what the Bible said would take place in the last days. And one of the reasons why is one of the top 10 indicators, in fact, I may share some of this with you in subsequent weeks, one of the top 10 indicators that we're living in the last days and we're living on the edge of the coming of the Lord is the fact that there would be a vacuum for a world leader. We've got plenty of world leaders that are trying to posture for position, but I can tell you right now, none of them are going to fit the role that is needed in order to step on the scene and be able to speak the words that actually bring uh, peace and can straighten things out in our economy, in our world, with the wars and rumors of wars and all that is happening. In fact, from this article, the dawn of a new alliance of nations as U.S. power fades. This, along with many other articles, are letting us know that we're watching as America's influence in the world is declining. Now, the Bible has a lot to say about this, but I'll share with you from the book of uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 24, the Bible said there would be many false Christs that would come, false prophets, showing wonders in the last days. And here's the key, deceiving many. Deception is at an all-time high with the spirit of lawlessness and the lying spirit that has been turned loose in the last days. And that's exactly what the book of Revelation said would take place as the Antichrist is making his appearance. But here's a, a little note that I've found in the Word of God from the book of uh, Timothy. In fact, from the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, you can read along or find it a little bit later. But the Bible says, Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter time some would depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils speaking lies and hypocrisy, we're seeing that, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. They have no feeling about it. They can lie straight up and it makes no difference. But here's what caught me uh, in verse number three. Forbidding to marry, and watch this, and commanding to abstain from meats. Do you realize that the UN and the World Economic Forum's uh, platform for 2030 that is fast approaching, only seven years away, is literally trying to transfer and shove the entirety of the world into not eating meat, uh, but actually eating bugs. It's all right there, uh, well documented. These are the things, ladies and gentlemen, that are pointing us toward the imminent return of Jesus Christ and the rise of the Antichrist. In fact, the Antichrist system is already in place in so many different ways. Uh, you can see what's happening in our world by uh, folks that are environmentalists that are saying to us, hey, you've got to embrace the environment and not have so much of a carbon footprint. But when it comes to uh, East Palestine, Ohio, where there's been one of the greatest environmental uh, disasters that has taken place through that train that was derailed, there seems to be no concern. And on and on the list goes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're living in the last days. And one of the most important things you can do is be ready because at any moment, Jesus Christ is coming soon.